Sometimes I think about myself as a psychologist of the volcano because I'm really trying to extract information from something that we cannot see from the mind of the volcano. Popocatepetl is a fascinating volcano in Mexico and it's a constantly active volcano. Popocatepetl means the smoking mountain. It's the classical cone-shaped pointy volcano that any child uh, will draw. It's 5,500 meters uh, tall, so it's quite a climb to get up there. It's a very populated area. There are about 25 million people uh, living uh, nearby with two big cities, Mexico City on one side and Puebla on the other side, and, and many other smaller cities and villages. It is important to forecast eruption, first and foremost, to save life. And the only way is really to study the volcano comprehensively. We need to know what the volcano uh, is doing now and what is the baseline, so, so the no, what we call the normal activity and how it diverged from the normal activity. And in order to do so, we really need to have a constant monitoring of the volcano, the, the gas composition, seismic activity, so all the earthquake, the volcano, the tectonic earthquake that happened. Then there is another signal is to look at the breathing of the volcano. If it's, if we can think of the volcano really like breathing and kind of inflating and deflating. And this is absolutely fundamental to forecast an eruption. Alongside this, there is also the uh, kind of combining more the petrological side of it. My work is related to study the rock, so I need an eruption before I can actually get the rock to study. Uh, and what I look in a rock, uh, like rock like this, uh, which can seem quite dull, but if you look carefully, you can see some white speckle uh, and some kind of shining thing. Um, and the white one, uh, uh, both the, the, the white and the, and the shiny one are minerals. We can imagine a mineral growing in the magma, so un underneath the volcano, as a sort of tree ring. It grows in layer, and each layer tells us a different history and tells us different information. And so what the information that are uh, kind of um, encapsulated in a crystal are the chemical composition of the magma, the pressure, so how deep the, this crystal grow, the temperature, so how hot was the magma, but also the time. And this chemical zoning give us the clue when the magma arrive in the system. And this is the time that I can extract. So I can sort of time how many recharge occurred before an eruption and how long before the eruption. And these are all important information uh, when we try to link the petrological data with the monitoring data. So basically the petrology allows you to see inside the volcano.